Now, I'm certainly not someone who likes to be bombarded as soon as I walk into a store, a restaurant, a business of any kind with a bunch of, can I help you? What do you need? What are you looking for? What are you shopping for today? Like just the constantly and coming up to you. Are you, is everything okay? Do you need like a, just a little bit, like a nice quick little greeting and then, you know, maybe come around maybe once, twice, depending on how long I'm in your establishment. Okay, sure, that's fine, great, love that. Um, but I, and most of us who have worked in the service industry know that we have been trained to come up to people, to approach, to be involved, to, uh, yeah, to close the deal, right? So I, I, I think that employers have gotten the point that you're running people out of stores when you're doing too much. You're overly coming up to people. You're asking too often, like, let me shop, let me eat, let me enjoy the museum, let me enjoy wherever I am. If I need something, I will come find you. But um, I think now the pendulum has swung a little too far back the other way. So we've gone from people being overly aggressive with the trying to help you, assist you, trying to make a sale and get your business to now it's like people aren't even saying hello when you walk in the door. Now, I get a lot of people have a lot on their minds. Most people aren't getting paid enough to care, to even work there to help you. But, you know, you can't assume that anyone that walks into your establishment has been there before. You have to greet, unless you just recognize this person and you know that they frequent this place, you have to treat everyone as if this is their first time coming there. Like th there's a thin line between, you know, being helpful and then just being annoying. But when customers or, or business, or whatever comes into your establishment, you need to make sure that they know what they're doing, know how to order, where to go, how to pay for parking, where do you purchase tickets? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, some places, especially here in Houston, um, it's not very obvious where to do a lot of these things. It's not always obvious where to park. It's not always obvious like what door to go in and how to like just make people feel welcome. Um, I mean, there's been times where I've walked up to people, you know, at a desk. At a, at a register, at a ticket booth, at a w whatever, you walk up to them and they're just, they just look at you. And it's not young people. So before you all get on here and say, oh, well, that's a millennial thing, that's a Gen Z thing, that's a alpha thing, our alpha's working, I don't know. It's not a young people thing. Because actually I found that, um, really if I'm being honest, Gen Z is actually uh, first to kind of greet and, and be normal. Like they greet and they're like, hey, or whatever. They're helpful. Um, I would say it's young millennials. Sorry to come from my own people. I would say it's mostly them. And also it's like older Gen X. So I don't know what's going on with those two groups there. That's kind of what I notice most. Boomers are pretty helpful. But like something about the, the late end of Gen X and the young millennials, maybe some of the Gen Z. <laughs> Yes, exactly. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm walking up to people. They're not even, I'm like, can you, can you see me? I'm like, hi, yes, can I, uh, you know, what do you, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm, I'm, and when I ask my questions, sometimes they're nice, but I just walk with these people. They just have a dead stare, maybe a little grin, but I'm like, just say hello. Hi, ma'am. Hey, can I help you with something? Yeah, actually, can I, uh, blah, 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 blah. Like, why are you just staring at me? And then there's the other people that you go up to them and they're like, oh my gosh, I have to help you. Like, what do you need help with? Like, like this, <laughs> exactly. And I'll give you an example. One day, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago, I went to uh, a new library that I haven't been to before. Um, also, you know, make sure you're reading, but that's another TikTok for another day. Um, I went to a library, it was a different library that I'm not used to. I do have a library card, but I didn't have one for this particular one. So I go up to the desk to get, you know, the new library card for this place. So I walk up with, the lady doesn't even say hello. She doesn't say anything. I walk up and she says, you can check out over there. If I had been here before, I would have known that. And also I would have had a card to probably do it. But since this is my first time here, yeah. I need you to give me a card so that I can go over there. She was like, oh, okay, sorry about that. She was like, yeah. And so she got the card. I mean, she was nice, but I was just like, you don't, you didn't know what I wanted. 
I could have been asking you to find something else. I could have been at, at, like, like maybe I don't want to check my own books out. Maybe I wanted to have a nice human interaction. Look, I love a self checkout. I love that they have a self checkout at some of the libraries and stuff because people are really mean and they are rude and they do not feel like helping you at all. But it's just like the the, the dismissiveness. Like, it's just weird. I don't know. Has anybody else experienced this where you walk into establishments and it's like, no one wants to help? No one's like, you know? Or do you walk into places and you're like, why is it set up like this? Look, if you want to create an environment where, where you don't really want to have interaction with your customers, you need to have the layout of your business set up in a way that's set up in a way where you don't feel like you need to interact with anyone. When you go into, like, say, McDonald's, for example, and they have, like, the kiosk, it's very self-explanatory. Like, oh, I can go right here, order my food, and I can go pick it up. The One of the museums, the uh, Museum of Natural Science, has a thing, where, like, the, the cafe. You can go to a kiosk, pick out your food, order it, take your ticket over to the thing, you get your food. It's very self-explanatory. You don't have to ask anyone. But some of these places, it's like they expect, like, everyone that comes to the door this is their hundredth time there and everyone just knows i'm like i don't know i think we've gone too far so if we could just find a happy medium to where you know you're not following me around the store or constantly asking me do you need a refill um if we can find something between that and you just completely blowing me off and the rest of us off um yeah, but have, have what what's the com customer service like in your area? Also, I just want to say, particularly, I'm so sorry, but here in Houston, it's bad. Um, back home from where I'm from in Louisville, I feel like the people are a lot more friendly. I feel like they're, I mean, I'm sure this is a problem everywhere, but I'm so sorry. Um, whenever I go home to Louisville and then come back here to Houston, it is abundantly clear the differences in uh, just the people. Now, I will say Houston proper though is particularly bad. I live on the outskirts of Houston, which isn't as bad. People are a little more friendly down in the outskirts of Houston where I am, but Houston proper, I need y'all to get it together and help people and put up signs if you don't want to talk to us. Anyways, go local. Stop, keep, you gotta keep being friendly and uh, let me know in the comment section down below where you live and what your customer service is like. If you're in the service industry, do you go out of your way to help people or do you like dread when people come up to you? Okay, I think that's it for my rant today. Bye!